damn, I'm sore today. It's day number two since the workout that I did with Banky. We just shared that with you guys yesterday. And man, I am definitely feeling it. Felt it a little bit yesterday, feel it a hell of a lot more today. And definitely need to do something today. Maybe I'm gonna do some push ups or something. We got some horrible weather outside, but I need to do this workout. I am really motivated to try to get back into shape. And with the help of Banky, I think that I'm going to be able to do that. Banky is a hell of a fitness guru. The dude is in great shape considering he's like 50. And that's saying a lot, especially considering the fact that I'm 38 and I'm in this bad of shape. But nonetheless, I do want to start this off by thanking you guys for the encouragement and the kind words that you had to say about that video. It seemed like you guys enjoyed that a lot. I talked with Banky after the fact and told him, I've actually been telling him a, a few different times that he really ought to consider doing workout videos on his channel. And maybe he could be a personal trainer through video for some of you out there who want to get yourself together. It was awesome also reading comments on yesterday's video where you guys said that that video motivated you to want to get up and go out there and do something. So that's really awesome to hear. It's Friday and today I want to do something that we haven't done in a long time here on After Prison Show. I want to do a comment response video. Now, I mean really, ugh, I could, uh, we've definitely had enough comments, you know, over the course of time since the last time that we've done a comment response video. And I can't even remember how many months ago that was, but I'm quite certain that we could make this completely just negative, bashing, ragging on old Joe and after prison show. I don't want to do that, especially with the fact that it's 2021 and we're trying to make this the positive start to the year, even though that's easier said than done, especially considering everything that's been going on in the world. But regardless, I want to focus on the positive. There will be some negative comments in here and I'm not going to go in on the negativity. I'm going to take it as constructive criticism to the best that I possibly can. I'm going to try not to get triggered in this. And it's my hope to make this a good video that you guys enjoy. And maybe I'll be responding to a comment that you left. But don't get your hopes up. I don't mean for that to sound bad. I'm only responding to 10 comments in this video. Not going to make this super long. And let's go ahead and get into this. I'm excited about this. Who knows? Maybe it will be your comment. Let's go ahead and start with this very first comment right here. And with seeing this comment, I need to say this as well. This isn't just going to be a comment response video. You know, we're going to talk about some prison stuff because there was a couple of, I think two, really good questions that were asked in relation to being locked up. And one of those questions is right here with this very first comment coming to us from a person named Stephen Newell, who says, anybody ever get topped from a female guard while serving time? Stephen, you should already know the answer to that. App Absolutely. Wasn't me. Joe was definitely not that cool or that brazen. I know quite a few people who have at least said, I ain't never seen it. I don't think that I've seen it. I've heard of people getting caught in the act, but I know of plenty of people and have heard plenty of stories of people carrying on full-blown relationships with guards, nurses, any form of staff member working inside of an institution. Some people that we featured on After Prison Show have even mentioned a little bit the fact that they've had certain encounters and possibly relationships with female staff members. I don't want to put nobody out there. Maybe we can get a story about that in the future. But the fact of the matter is, Stephen, I mean, that's the type of stuff that's definitely going to happen. You know, when you put men and women together and it doesn't matter if, you know, one's wearing a blue uniform while the other's wearing an orange. Feelings are going to fly. Relationships are going to blossom. And pants are going to drop. And even though I've never particularly experienced this part, boy, I just hit the... Ah, what is that? Even though I've never experienced that, you know, particular thing, getting the top while locked up, I've definitely had some female staff members who have fancied old Joe a time or two. There was a nurse, there was a counselor, those two that I can remember for sure, but never got the top though. Probably could have. I just did. God, I can barely read that. Joe, you need your glasses on. Brian Rainey? I wonder if that's really your last name. That's my wife's name. Uh, interesting comment right here coming to us from Brian who says, OMG, only 12,000 views on the last two vids and less than 20,000 on the last few. What the hell? You know, try not to pay attention to that. As a YouTuber, I'd be lying, you know, or as somebody who does YouTube. I hate saying that I'm a YouTuber. That just always sounds so weird. 
But you know, I would be lying if I said that I didn't pay attention to the views. I try not to pay attention to the views. Let me read the rest of your comment before I go ahead and respond to this. I personally think the content has gotten better. Brian, thank you very much for saying so. And back to being more like the old APS. I really appreciate that, Brian. Uh, a couple of things to mention about this. It means a lot to have your support as it does to have anybody else who's watching this video and any other videos that we upload. I make no illusion about the fact that the views have definitely dropped. That does suck, especially as somebody who's, you know, this is my business. Will the views bounce back? Maybe. I mean, you know, it is my hope. I always try to figure out what's going wrong when we are going in a downward path. And with my 2020 look back video, basically recapping, reminiscing, reacting, and responding to everything that basically went wrong on After Prison Show in 2020. You know, it is my hope for 2021 to try to do it better. Will I be able to? I hope I am. I want to say this also. You know, <laughs> I guess I will try to justify it or at least try to make myself not panic or worry too much. And I'll say, you know, the beginning of the year, January, it's always a tough month on YouTube. You've got quarters on YouTube and every quarter at the beginning of those, it's tough for the content creator. And views definitely suffer amongst pretty much everything else in terms of what goes into doing this YouTube thing. But I'd share all of that with you to say this, you know, it is in this low period where we do have the opportunity to try out new things because what's the worst that can happen? It doesn't work? Well, the views are already in the toilet and I'm not trying to make it sound so kamikaze-esque, but that is the truth. And in fact, one of my favorite sayings that I've ever heard in a movie, I think it was Brad Pitt who said it in Fight Club, and I also mentioned this the other night on The Bobo, I said, you know, it's not until you've lost everything or not until you lose everything that you are truly free to do anything. I'm not sure if he says it in the movie or if he says it in the book. I did both, though. I read the book and watched the movie. The book's pretty good, too. Read the book while locked up. It's not until you lose everything that you're free to do anything, and that, in relation to all of this, means trying new things. I've got some prison ASMR I'm experimenting. Another thing that is really important in a place like this and I don't know why, but it just is. I can't even imagine. I'm laughing thinking about your reaction to this. Like, what the f was that, Joe? Please don't leave a dislike just based upon that. Some people like ASMR. I like it. But I ain't gonna lie to you. It is hard trying to figure out how to film that stuff. I am struggling. You know, you gotta have that gain set super high. You gotta have microphones that can handle high gain. And then that high quality, high gain audio has got to convert to whatever you're editing it on. And that's where I'm sort of having a problem right now. I'm able to capture it with the high gain. When I put that on the computer, it doesn't sound like how it sounds when I'm recording it. Oh well, prison ASMR, it's coming soon. We're gonna try it. But wow, I got totally off topic right there. Uh, Brian, shout out to you for your support. Yeah, the views are in the toilet. Hopefully they bounce back. You also had mentioned the content getting better and it seems like we're getting back to the old APS. You know, there's never gonna be, and I hate the way this is gonna sound, but there's never gonna be the old APS because the old APS was me sharing a lot of my prison stories, which I've shared most all of my prison stories. You know, we can continue to work with people and showcase their stories in an effort to maybe help them get their own YouTube channel. That's something that I'm you know, gonna do in 2021. So I'm gonna do the best that I can. And Brian, thank you for your comment and support. Moving on. Uh, this next comment definitely comes to us from the workout video. This was from John who said, how old Banky, how old Banky? Oh, that was a question. 
I thought he was making a statement at first, like, how old Banky doing all that? Crazy how you can make a statement or, or a question. But John said, how old Banky? And I, he definitely was going the question route with this. Joe, he in his, oh, how old Banky? There should have been a comma there. Joe, he in his 50s, right? He is. I'm 48, I feel good, but I'm not even close to as fit as Banky is. Respect for both of you from Amsterdam, Holland. John, very special shout out to you. Yes, Banky is in his 50s. And if you saw those burpees, those Superman burpees that dude was doing, I'm talking about someday I'm going to be able to do that. I could never do that in my fittest of times. But I am trying to get a little closer to those fittest of times. And I know that with Banky's help, I can get there. And maybe you can as well. I'm telling you, Banky's going to be like that dude who's doing like the 10-minute abs or the, the hip-hop abs. I don't know what that dude's name is, but that's what he needs to be doing for real. At least that's my opinion. John, shout out to you. Ah, God, these things are so tiny. This next comment comes to us from a video we just did recently called The Many Things Prisoners Need Money For in Prison. And it's from a person with the username Freedom Elf who says $35 for booking fees at the jail here. Now, I don't know exactly where here is, but what? $35? You got to pay a booking fee? What they think they is? Expedia? What's this joint? Kayak.com? Hotels.com? A $35 booking fee? Most people coming into the jail ain't even got $35 in their pocket. And that's not a shot. That's probably very real. Damn these jails and these prisons trying to get rich. Trying to take every dollar that you got. Freedom Elf, I really wish you would have said what where that was. If anybody knows anywhere that charges a booking fee, comment down below. I'd like to hear that. I don't think that they do that here in my state. I haven't been in a jail in 10 years. Some people might say that I'm going back and I had to knock on wood right there that I'm not. Maybe they do. That's crazy. Trying to get a dollar out of 35 at that any way that they can. Another interesting question that was posed in relation to prison. Maybe you guys will find some interest with this response. Uh, this comes to us from a person by the name of 7 Zatanna, username that is. It says, question, what advice would you give for a gay person? Should they be prepared to knuckle up or be discreet as possible? Or, or be as discreet as possible. I'm definitely not trying to flaunt that around, just needed an honest opinion. I live in Las Vegas. You know, that's a really good question. And, you know, I can't honestly answer this because I'm not gay. I've definitely seen plenty of gay dudes while locked up. And to be honest, and I don't want this to sound like I'm trying to be funny saying this, but to be honest, they seem to do okay locked up. I'm sure they got problems. And I'm sure they get made fun of. And I'm sure that problems get brought to them. You know, there's one type of thinking, and maybe it's an immature way of thinking, that would be like, oh, a gay person ain't gonna have no problems while locked up. They ain't gonna have no problems at all. Maybe even trying to be a little funny about it, not me, but just saying. But the reality is, is that could definitely be a situation that causes your time to be a lot more difficult. A lot of prisoners don't wanna be housed or in a cell with someone who's gay. A lot of people don't wanna shower around someone who is. So to be honest, I don't know how to answer that question, uh, whether to be discreet about it or to flaunt it. I guess it's going to be, you know, whatever a person would choose to do and whatever they think is the best move to make for them. Now to go a little bit further with that, you know, I have seen plenty of gay dudes locked up who, one, they fight game is like that. Two, they ain't scared of nothing. And then three, even dudes who didn't really seem like they had any fight game, and I know for a fact they probably didn't, or at least they definitely appeared that way. I know you should never judge a book by its cover. You know, they didn't seem to have many problems. In fact, it seemed like they were living quite comfortably. Now, I'm not living their life. I don't know what's really going on 24-7 with them. I'm sure it is difficult being in a situation like jail or prison and being gay. So in terms of being prepared to knuckle up or being discreet or flaunting it, I guess that's just going to be a case-by-case -case basis, you know, depending upon the person in that situation. Moving on. Crystal Waters says, Banky is an awesome trainer and Joe, you did great. Thank you, Crystal. You know, that's the type of motivation right there that's got me ready to work out right now, even though my chest feels like it's ready to poke out of my chest. That's how bruised and battered that thing. I feel like I just gotten punched in my chest. 
hitting them, them jabs, jabs. Oh, God. I was going to try to show off a little bit. I can't do nothing right this second. But those motivational comments, and there were quite a few of them, you know, they definitely motivate me to want to keep this thing going, to be able to tear that shirt off in a couple of months and show y'all Joe ain't fat no more. Joe got back. Like somebody who gets locked up after they've been dealing with an addiction problem, getting locked up, not even weighing 90 pounds, soaking wet. But they're getting them three hots in a cot for about a year. They're going to get back too. Crystal, I really appreciate your comment. It definitely didn't go without a little bit of friction and a little bit of rebuttal for, you know, just as many kind and motivational comments. I don't want to say for just as many, but with the kind and motivational comments, there were certainly some negative ones as well, including somebody who responded to your comment, Crystal, saying, Joe Fat is FK. Thought you was about to say BK, talking about the Burger King. What the F are you smoking? Joe Fat is. What the F are you smoking? Well, to be honest with you, I'm not smoking anything. I've actually been smoke free for over four months now. And I can breathe very clearly. Uh, but to also go a little bit further, with your comment mentioning that I'm fat as FK. You're not wrong about that. I mean, that is the reason why I wanted to have Banky be my personal trainer and help me get back in shape. You might have missed all of that. I'm just messing with you. Look, I respect your opinion. You're right. I am fat. I'm trying to get back in shape, but I'm not smoking anything. So good day to you and thank you. For your input. Tell you, I'm going to handle this whole negativity thing in a much better way. Some of you may be thinking, Joe, what form of CBD are you, are you boofing? Can you do that? And to be honest with you, it's nothing. I'm just simply high on life. Teal Baron says, stop erasing my comments or move to communist China. Joe, you want to yak and yak and yak and yak and yak? So can others and myself, you speech tyrant, you. Joe is full of poop. Teal Baron, I'm not going to lie. I do delete comments. I do. <laughs> but I didn't delete yours. In fact, I wanted to include what uh, your comment just got held up in the spam filter for inappropriate or potentially inappropriate. I don't even know what got flagged for that. I think talking about the whole China talk or the... The tyrant thing, maybe those were a little sketchy right there. And I'm being serious. Like, you got to really be mindful of the things that you're saying. But um, I do talk a lot. I'll definitely give you that. I'm trying to work on that. And, um, you know, you're entitled to say whatever you want to say. Uh, it is my channel. If I don't like it and you're saying something horrendously negative about me or what, you know, I will delete those comments. In this particular case, I did not delete your comment. It got held up in our spam filter and I'm full of poop. Don't got no comeback to that one. Have a great day. Jeanette Armstrong says, Joel will be a great addition to the APS family. Good luck to him. Thank you guys for the kind words that you said about Joel. You know, I'm excited to have this guy as a part of APS and helping out. I've read so many comments about where is Cody. I've addressed this a few different times. I'm going to address it again right here. You know, there is no ill will between Cody and I. Cody and I took a hiatus during Corona. We've... Talked about getting back together since. Uh, also, the channel was in a bit of a a bit of a rut. It's definitely in way more of a rut right now. But I think my rationale on it is f it. Let's just go for gusto and just go for broke. You know, I like Joel. I think that he has knowledge about how to film. And and again, Cody is welcome back at any time that Cody wants to come back. So I really wanted to clear that up. But I like Joel. I think that he would be a great addition as well. I think him and Cody would get along. Uh, and, and I need to clear this up too as well. Look, Joel is not like some Steven Spielberg. I know I may have said that. He's not. And I mean, I'm clearly seeing that as well. Uh, you know, he's not, but he's good. And he's good enough. And he's the best that I'm able to find at this point. You know, aside from Cody, obviously. And I'm grateful for what Joel brings to the table. You know, it's not easy to film these type of videos that we film, especially when you've never done it before. And let me stop trying to make it sound like, you know, I might be almost borderline saying that Joel's filming isn't that good because it is. You know, imagine coming into a situation. Imagine coming to work with me. I just wanted to leave a little bit of 
long pause there. But imagine coming to work with me. You got no idea what or how I do what I do. And you just jump into this thing. And I'm trying to explain it to you on the fly. Like, for example, the workout video. You know, that was one man, one camera trying to capture as much of that as he could. It's never going to be perfect. We don't have a film crew. Even if we had Joel and Cody at the same time, it would be a... It would be a lot better, but you you know, it would still wouldn't be perfect. But Joel knows how to edit. He brings a lot to the table. I like him a lot. And I'm grateful for the kind words that people have said about him. There's only one more comment in this video. And if I didn't get a chance to share a comment that you left, please leave a comment on this video, a like on this video. Maybe I'm going to get back to also giving shout outs in the video. That was something that I did in the way early days of After Prison Show. I probably ought to definitely be doing that. Uh, but this last comment, I do believe that this is a negative comment, possibly a troll comment, but nonetheless, I'm not gonna go in. I'm just gonna try to examine and react to this comment in the most positive, constructive way that I can, and also take this comment as the most positive and constructive as I can, even though I'm quite sure that it's not very much of that. But let's go ahead and go with it. It comes to us from a person by the name of Glory God Promotion. Now. I don't know if that's a troll username right there or if they really are about the God life. You know, if they really got the fear of God in them and, and they're a, a religious person. But I think it's more the former, you know, reading this comment. Or maybe they just think that their promotion is, you know, glory God. It's God-like. Yo, the promotion that I could give you is God-like. You're full of yourself. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe it is like that. You're just one big mistake that never ends. And I'm quite sure this comment came in relation to that 2020 explanation video that I did. But let's roll with it. You're just one big mistake that never ends. You're, that microphone sucks. The other one was way better. Much better, they said. Uh, both of those microphones are actually really good. Uh, we've got the Sennheiser right here, and we've got the Audio-Technica AT2020s. We've got the Tascam Lavaliers. I mean, we got some decent microphones, but okay. Buy a Newman if you can afford it. I don't even know what that is. Newman? Isn't that mayonnaise? Stating a thousand dollars? Mine for the studio is ten thousand. Ten thousand dollars for a microphone? Oh, you really are doing some godlike production. Oh, wait, it's promotion. I gotta read this sideways. There we go. Video quality is top notch. I'm not sure if you're talking about my videos or your videos, but thank you, I think. Can I touch you? A bunch of question marks. Okay, maybe they're crazy. I, I don't know. It's that good, and maybe they're talking about theirs. Jellico's not your mistake. You're for hiring people for cheap prices. I will agree with that. Jellico, uh, you know, whether it was a mistake or not, I made mistakes in relation to Jellico. And yes, I definitely was hiring people uh, instead of professionals. I was hiring cheap help instead of professionals. I'll agree with that point right there in relation to the flip houses. Hashtag snitch. I think we're talking about the Brian number one talk right now. Good thing someone hashtag snitched on you. I'm not sure if that's in relation to the permit problem that we had with Flip House number one or some unforeseeable pending doom that potentially is coming my way. What goes around comes around. I'm thinking it might be more the latter at this point with that statement. Why do you want to do any update with that guy for content? Who in the F are you talking about? Who did I mention doing an update with? I can't even remember at this point. He did shit work on the flip. Brian number one? Is that what that is? I think that's who you're talking about. He was actually doing pretty decent work to a certain degree. Worked his ass off. It just didn't work out. The only reason why you don't deal with Rabbit or Jellico and whoever is because they're no use to you anymore. Well, no, that's absolutely incorrect. I wish nothing but the best for Rabbit and hope that he is able to get where he needs to be at, which is clean, sober, and, you know, in the right frame of mind. And I feel like he could do that better without me and after prison show at this point, respecting his privacy. And in terms of Jellico, well, that ended kind of ugly. And I wear a lot of blame for that. So that's still a bridge that hasn't been mended. You're incorrect about that last statement and sentence right there. They probably happy not dealing with you. You sound like a fortune cookie. <laughs> that was funny. Or probably borderline bad. You're trapped, dot, dot, dot. I am in a shed filming this. I'm just going to respond to every two words. 
Excuses, excuses. They might seem that way. Like telling people you made no money on a job while you bought a bunch of things for yourself. Well, I actually reinvested in the company, the landscape company. So that's kind of, I don't know. I don't know. Sh I don't know shit about business. So I'm not even going to pretend like that was the smart thing to do, but it probably was. And yes, I've turned a profit. Not a very good one. Also bought equipment. Had I not bought equipment, I probably would have made a way more substantial profit. The landscaping job that you can't quote properly, I'll give you credit. I don't feel like I'm really hitting the margins right there, but you know, with time, maybe I will get better. Uh, that's why you use and underpay people. Well, I try to pay as fair as I possibly can, but I understand that there's definitely some animosity in terms of this person's feelings toward me. And to this person, hey, look, I'm sorry you feel the way that you do. Uh, maybe through answering this comment, and it may seem asinine the way that I'm doing this, but I'm actually being pretty, uh, well, pretty spot on with my end. I'm not telling you no lies here. That's You've lost views before you grew up to be an ass when you used to be cool. You've lost views before you grew up to be an ass when you used to be cool. I won't deny that. I can definitely be an ass. I think that I just keep it a stack at all times. And sometimes, you know, it's too real. That's my opinion, may not be yours, and I don't expect to change your mind. You're entitled to your opinion. I get that there are quite a few people who probably think that I have changed. I have. You know, I've been through a lot, and I've gotten pretty far, and you're going to change. Nobody's ever going to stay the same. You can't. You, you think that if I was doing the same thing that I was doing five years ago doing After Prison Show, that this would still be working? People would be saying, Joe, what in the... I just wouldn't be able to do it, I guess is the best way to put it. It would get monotonous, it would get old, and I truly feel like for anything to succeed and to continue on, it has to evolve. Definitely made mistakes along the way, I will not deny that. Let's continue on, I'm almost through this, or am I? God, this is a long comment. Putting down Danny with the tats while you try to say nice things. I was just speaking the truth. Too bad you didn't meet him before his last stint in jail. I don't know what you mean by that. He would have jacked you up. Is he locked up again? Is that what you're trying to say? Does anybody know where Danny's at? Because I damn sure don't. Always talking like he's black? You shouldn't make fun of the way that I talk. You really shouldn't do that. It's 2021 for God's sakes. We need to get beyond, you know, the surfaces. Get an image consultant instead of gambling. Could you imagine me with an image consultant? Yo, boy, check out Ted here. I got the image consultant. We're getting the glamour shots and the head shots and the profiles. I wouldn't know what to do with an image consultant, except probably argue with them every step of the way. No, you wrong about that, Ted. You wrong about that. Don't be trying to tell me how I need to talk, Ted. Ted, you need to go do you a Ted talk. That was actually kind of funny. It just fell together like that. Instead of gambling, I actually, oh, speaking of gambling, Bitcoin, which I'm no longer invested in, it's at $41,000 right now. I'll get back in that. That's going to drop off. Here's my crypto convo real quick. I'm currently dealing with Erythium and Dodgy coin, and I've made $200, $200. Hey, I haven't lost anything. I'm legitimately making like a little part-time income right now. Just stop manipulating every situation and finessing your story. I'm just simply explaining what happened. And I'm tired of doing that, so I'm gonna try to pride myself on not letting it get to that point in 2021. Because there was a lot of what happens in 2020. It's obvious. I'll give you a shot and wipe the slate clean. You've probably already X'd me out on the slate again. I hope not. Don't take this as, you know, me trying to like go in on you. I'm simply responding to this and also trying to make this an entertaining response as well. Not at your expense, but just, you know, just responding. Stop blaming people and crying wolf. Suck it up. Yanni, if you forgive that guy, I'll be your troll. I guess you're my troll currently. Do your own thing. He needs you now. What? F him. Banky just wants money. Tell him to call Booker the slumlord. Can you flip a burger patty? You know, like, I thought we talked about wiping the slate clean, but then you just completely went in on me at the end. Can I flip a burger patty? If I open up a fast food restaurant, I might, but I don't think that that was pretty good. I mean, wow, you had something to say about everybody, and I, like I said, I try to respect all opinions, but you know, you got a little, you got a little rough on me at the end there. Regardless, that's your opinion, and maybe there's people who agree with you as well. Can't change everybody's mind, nor would I ever try to do that. I just want to explain myself as much as I possibly can, 
and you know get a chance to respond and react from time to time. I think that I did a pretty okay job doing that here today. I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I really want to know what you guys think uh, in relation to these comments and these responses. Leave a comment down below and a like on this video if you enjoyed it. If you didn't, don't even worry about it. But if you did, though, hey, leave a like. Ain't going to take you but a second. It's right there, I believe, right there, maybe right there. It's 2021. It's a brand new year, folks. I want to encourage and motivate and entertain you guys as much as I possibly can. Motivate you guys to feel like you've just gotten in a car accident because that's what my entire body feels like right now. But I'm motivated. I'm motivated to try to bring you guys the very best that I possibly can. I'm getting up with Booker again. I got a banging cooking video coming for you guys over this weekend. And also, or at least I hope it is. And also, uh, we'll definitely be doing more workouts with Banky. We're going to be doing that again this upcoming week. And we got the APS podcast coming. Maybe some prison ASMR. But this is... priceless when it comes to your protection and safety. We got some prison gameplay on the way. We got a couple of new things that we're going to be working on this year. So we'll see. But I want to let you guys know I appreciate each and every one of y'all who take the time to rock with After Prison Show. And it's my duty. It's what I feel like I have to do and what I also want to do to be able to entertain, motivate, and just keep you guys rocking with me for as long as possible. Hope you have a great day. I look forward to talking with you guys again real soon. And until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace. God, whoo, boy, Joe, you sore.